Hello, I'm Mike, and we're going to teach you how to draw and paint. And if you already know how to do this, then you should probably not be watching this. Okay, so what do you need to first start? A pencil of any kind. Um, you could go to the art store, or you could just have your own 2B window, uh, 2B, you know, those yellow pencils, but anyway, this is this is what I've got, Faber-Castell. I always try to grab the lightest one anyways, so if you just, if you do have a normal pencil, I would get a, um, just a really light feel, light touch. And hopefully everything is hearable. I got the window open in the back. Here I've got my ginormous canvas. Okay, you can get these at Michael's my store for extremely cheap let's see can I move this yeah okay you can get one of these for extremely cheap at Michaels or Walmart Walmart's also got really good paint uh, for cheap okay I'm just gonna take this plastic off I already poked the back the reason why I'm using such a big canvas is because this is the last one I've got. Everything else I kind of painted. But that's probably good that I'm using this and not trying to go back to the store and getting more because when you take me to an art store I go kind of hog crazy. I want to buy all the canvases and go, oh, look at that white space. Oh, look at that white space. Ooh, there's a black space. You know, you can get... Uh, uh, black canvases as well. Hi right there. You want to be in the video? You always want to be in the video. I'm just gonna real quick tape off a section of my canvas just for this tutorial. I think I'm gonna use, we'll go like across here. I'll show you in a minute. I don't have another camera idea that, you know, I wanted to do like a, a camera of me or a video of me in one corner and then the, uh, the work or the tutorial in another piece, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. So we'll, we'll learn together. How's that sound? That wind feels so good. Okay. So now my giant canvas, there's the size of my hand. There you go. So I got like four different spots. You don't have to do this. This is just, um, this is just for me so that I can uh, make a smaller piece out of each of these. I'm probably, I'll probably repurpose this at the end. So that's one of the nice things about paintings is that if you don't like it, you can do it all over again. It's really simple, really. You don't believe me? If ever you're unhappy with your work, just take a step back and maybe take a break. Sometimes take a three month break, like I do. Because now I'm, I'm back into it. Maybe it's because of the good weather, but. All right, so let's say we want to do a picture of your house or something that's probably the one thing I'm good at is houses or buildings just in general I can do them in person and I can do them off of a photo or in my head imagination what what have you so there's a few ways to do it so let's do the first way which is in real person so we're just gonna go right to the back of my house and <clears throat> try to sketch it out hopefully you'll all be able to hear me I know it's a little windy. All right, I'm glad you were able to make it outside with me. So here I am, sitting in a lawn chair, looking at the back of my house, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not sure if I want to put it in it or not. Maybe I'll just put what I can fit in my little square. That's the hardest part about sketching something while you're outside. You don't know where the imaginary square is to fit your canvas. That is like so difficult sometimes. So you kind of have to do this. Uh, 
car. You've probably seen people do that before. So I'm just like looking at my house and you know, I'm gonna set up my camera so that you can see from the back of my head. It might be a little bald back there, but it's a good view, I promise. And maybe you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, is my head in the way? I can't tell. Who's filming back there? Okay. Get these bugs off my canvas. All right, so over here, let me see my hand. Yeah, look at that, I can point all the way up here, huh? Okay, and yeah, what's over here? Uh, left hand, okay, cool. Where's my right hand, I can't see it. All right, this is fun. Okay, so you see my house now. It's the one in the middle with the chimney. And here's the square I'm gonna uh, sketch it in. We'll paint later, maybe in the next tutorial. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out where the imaginary lines are for this square to fit that house. So I'm just gonna do a little left, right, you know, try to find out and study. You gotta study where you put your arms or your, uh, your hands. Can I put that in there? Right? Alright, so it looks like the fence gate uh, door to the left and the edge of my deck thing on the right. And maybe it comes up to. I want to get that chimney in there. So the chimney might be just on top. So let's see how I do, right? It looks like the chimney might be right, the chimney might be right uh, smack dab in the center. So, I'm just gonna do some really light lines. You don't wanna do anything heavy. It's uh, hard to erase. By the way, I didn't mention this, but bring an eraser. It, it will erase on canvas. You just have to work at it a little bit more than you would have with paper. So I'm just going to go right down the middle. Well, it's, it's off center to the right a little bit. But I'm going to go down the middle of it. And I'm going to check again. How does that look? I'd say the top of that chimney is right here. And then, looks like some kind of a soffit piece there. Put the top of the kitchen roof there. It's very short though. I'm gonna bring this down and make a tra trapezoid. I, I hope you can hear me while I'm speaking here, but. Da -da 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 -da. Now remember, that, f that fence gate to the left, I can't see. Oh, can it see that? Yeah, I think so. The fence gate to the left near the red garbage bin, that's gonna be the furthest left on my tape over here. So um, the roof should come just about there maybe. That's what it looks like to me. Let's finish the rest of the roof up there. Sometimes if you want to take your pencil like this and match it to the angle of whatever you're drawing, that can help because you, all you have to do then is drag it down to your canvas and find out where that might be. I'm going to say there's an angle here. Maybe right there. Now this comes in like a little triangle. See the gutter on the right? In your mind you know it's straight, but put that pencil up, it's angled, so keep that in mind.
Sometimes you have uh, trouble finding where the angle might be. So if you use like stories of another piece of the puzzle, like maybe I've already got this roof down here. If we put like, um, see that pipe on the, the left above the, the first roof closest to us. If I put that pipe there, I might be able to draw that top roof line a little bit better. So let's see, the pipe is near this corner. Maybe around around here. Let's try another way. We'll do more of this part. So the next way is by photo. I'm just gonna take my phone here and snap a picture. Okay. And now we're gonna go back inside. Okay. So here is another technique that you may wanna consider when drawing something, uh, especially if it's from a picture that you printed out. Um, so you wanna get like a, a darker color, or not darker color, darker uh, shade, a softer pencil will give you a darker shade and it'll rub off real easily. Um, you can do this again with that yellow pencil that you might have, but if you want to get really technical, you know, you do you. Alright, so I'll set that aside. You're going to get some parchment paper or special paper that you can buy at Michael's or most craft stores. This is the only picture I could find. So whatever, I mean, I'm sure I could pick this dog here. Let's, maybe we'll do the dog. Okay, great. great, great. I'm glad you agree with me. I'm gonna get some parchment out of this. You don't want to use wax paper. Wax paper, paper won't work. It's gotta be like see-through paper, basically, that has like a matte finish. All right, I'll set that aside. Here's my parchment paper. Now, let's see, yeah, you can see the dog. You can see the woman. Got my really dark pencil. And all I have to do is outline the dog. You want to, you know, like, scratch at it or, you know, rub back and forth with the pencil. Make it nice and thick. Doesn't have to be a perfect line. Just has to be a line that goes around. Try to keep it in one space. If you're if you think you're gonna move this paper along this magazine or whatever your picture is, make a smaller parchment paper, maybe cut it out and tape it to the magazine or tape it to the, the table. Great, I think that's enough for not right now. I kind of move the paper, it's like moving off of his features. So now I bring it across and look at that. There's the dog again. So I'm gonna close that and grab my canvas. All right, so now the only thing with this is if you want it to be, oops, the only thing with this is, if you want it to be, to look like this, then you're going to have to first lightly sketch it on this side, turn it over, and heavily sketch with the, that softer pencil on this side, and then over here again, and then do what I'm about to do. So keep that in mind if you're, <clears throat> it's not one of my favorite methods because there's a little bit more work. So, I'm going to get rid of my soft pencil and get my harder pencil that, uh, what is it, 2H? I don't know if you can see that in the, whatever, okay. You, know, you can use your yellow pencil too if you want, it doesn't matter. 
Again, you want to keep this. You want to keep this flat. Um, I don't have tape on me, so whatever. But there's two ways to do this. You can rub it on. As long as there's some kind of air between the parchment paper and the canvas, you can do this with. Uh, you can put this on another piece of paper as well. But as long as there's air, it's picking up and going down on the surface. If you want to get it really good, actually, let's just see what it looks like real quick. Okay, nothing happened. On paper, that might have done something, but I'm just going to quickly go over this. It doesn't even, you don't even have to be right on the line like this. You could come across if you had like a bigger pencil or something. But let's, let's just follow the line really quick. Okay, I mean, it sort of came up, right? I don't know if you can see, let's zoom in. All right, it's not one of my favorite methods, but it works, and it works better on paper. Uh, watercolor paper, paper paper, flat paper, newspaper, except on newspaper, you don't want the words, so maybe newsprint. All right, so now I'm gonna go on my phone and look at the photos that I took of the house while we were out there. And I'm gonna just look at it. Here we go. Oh, can we look? There we go. Okay. There we zoom in. This technology is great. So that's probably what we're looking at for uh, the house. So this is a lot easier than doing it in real life, trying to figure out, oh, is this the right angle? Because we can't always be where the house or the building or whatever it is outside. Sometimes it's a rainy day. But if you want to do it like the old way, you know, go for it. Just do it quickly because weather changes and it's not easy. I've done it a few times. Uh, let's see, I did nothing in here, but um, it might be in the attic. I did a church in Hamburg and I did the, oh, there's wind. I like, oh. oh, anyways, I like the wind, <laughs> but it's not great for this, because then you have trouble hearing. Um, so I did the church in Hamburg, and I did the Erie County Commissioner's Office, big castle-like building, that looks cool. And that one was harder, because it was really bright, the, the sunlight was coming to my eyes, and uh, it was very hot that day. I was doing it from the M&T Bank Tower, and the security guard uh, came out. He's like, "Yeah, you gotta move over." And I'm like, "What the?" It's, it was a Sunday, by the way. Okay. So yeah, sometimes you gotta hurry. Other times, if it's like your house, no one gives a uh, no one gives a care. Yeah, I'll say that. I'm gonna grab that light pencil again, the 2H, or or your yellow pencil. Or even your technical pencil. It's got a eraser on it. That's even better. Okay. And I'm going to look for the windows. I can only zoom in so far on my, uh, my iPhone. So whatever. I'm just going to add a little gutterish. Or, uh, yeah, gutterish to this. It's so hard to see, too. Like, maybe if I turned it. This is why I don't like the light. It's evil. Yeah. That's better. So that window looks like... I'm not sure if you guys can see my phone at all. I'm trying. I am. <laughs> but anyways, the window looks like it's coming at the corner of the roof a little bit. And it looks kind of small, like this. And the other one also reaches the corner a little bit. You can always change it by erasing it. Now I'm going to show you my favorite... Oh, my hair. My god. Oh yeah, now I look good. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite way of sketching things to... Oh wait. I just forgot there's two more ways. I'm sorry. So... <laughs> 
That's a failure. Why is the tripod coming with me? There we go. Um, there's So there's two more favorite ways that I like to sketch things. So that was just another version of going outside and you can sketch from a photo or a picture, it doesn't matter. I'm like moving my hands while I'm saying, but I, it's, it's probably a good thing that you don't see my hands. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, so now the third way, I'm gonna go to my photos. I don't know how it is in an Android, but we're gonna email myself. At the bottom left here, there's a share button. Pick that. I'm gonna Gmail myself. Alright, it's already got me in the from, but whatever. Wow, I can't type with. Oh, there we go. There's me. And then I'm going to send it. This is my cheap way of sending it to uh, other devices, but there's another way. Okay. There's my picture that I sent myself. And I'm just going to hold down right there. And there's a save image thing. Okay, image saved. And I'm going to go to my favorite program on here called Procreate. All right, then I'm gonna go to top right here, photo. And where is it? I'm gonna take this one. All right, cool. Now I've got this photo on here. Apple Pencil. Look at that, it plugs into the iPad and all that. So this is like advanced, this is the advanced way. And I wanna make an easy sketch for myself. So I'm gonna make another layer I'm going to go to the background layer, make it a little dark. You're not going to see it because that layer is in front. I put it back up, there it is. So, excuse me if my voice is a little loud. <clears throat> Maybe I'll edit that too. I'm going to go back to layer 1 and change the opacity. Maybe right about there. That looks good. And then I'm gonna lock it so I can't touch it. I'm gonna go to layer two. And then for a brush, I'm just gonna take, uh, well, I don't know. It's gotta be like an ink or something. There we go. Studio Pen's pretty good. I would choose a color that you can follow, like blue. I don't see any blue in this picture at all. I see a lot of red, orange, gray. Look at that. <laughs> it's my dog's butt. The kids would find that funny. Alright. I'm going to go over here to find my thickness. There we go. That's a little bit better. And all I have to do is trace over the, uh, the house. So there's my uh, picture. Now if I erase the layer below or edit from hiding it or whatever. Now I get is just my sketch. And let's just go to eraser real quick. There, that's better. So now I have my sketch. So what I could have done is not just only take a picture and not only go outside, but I could make a sketch on here and then transfer it onto that. Now there's one more way that is so simple it's like why wouldn't you just do that first the reason that uh, you can't just always transfer it from mind to canvas is because maybe you want it to be exact or possibly you can't do that this next method because you don't have the, the tool which is why I'm showing you those first three or four ways or However many ways it was, I can't remember now. This last way that uh, you can sketch your piece for the final painting is a little bit hard for me to describe because the only tripod I have is you. It was on there. So what I've got is my phone and this little device called a mirror. Mirror. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a mi micro projector. Here's the box, so you can see. There's just stuff in there. 
that charger doesn't come with it. Um, there's the specs on the back of the box. This one I got on sale for $100. Uh, I think it's normally like $150 to $200 and they go up from there. They basically use this, like people, they typically use this for like TV or something. It, it says on the front, oh, I just lost something. It says on the front that it can go to 50 inches. That's bigger than my TV. I got a 40 inch. Okay, and then let's put that back. Don't want to lose that. Um, there's some little more things about it. So you can easily connect to those things. Man, I'm shaky. It's crazy. I also painted uh, the bedroom next door today, so maybe that's why I'm shaky. I'm a little tired. Okay, um, I mentioned my iPhone already. So this is this thingy, this micro projector has an HDMI cord output. So to get to my phone, that's not gonna work. I need some kind of an adapter, right? This is a uh, HDMI to lightning adapter. It costs you about 50 bucks. There's another one in there. I don't know what that is. I think it's like uh, for the Android people. I don't know, I have no idea. You click that in, all right? And then you put the lightning adapter into the phone like that. And you turn your phone on. And then you go to photos. Oh, I love that wind. It feels so good. I'm going to go to that photo. So now it's up. It doesn't have to be like this. It could be like this. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, micro projector. And right, let's just use it on the camera. Okay, it's turned on. There's the blue light. It might turn red. Oh, okay, you can see it's uh, on. It's got no signal at first, but then it's reading it. Oh, look at that. There's the picture of the house. And I can fine tune this a little bit, but let me just uh, close the curtain here. Look at that. Now, I usually use the tripod for this part, but you can back it up to fit your spot or your space on the canvas. The bigger the canvas, the more you have to back away. There, I focused it. There's a little like focus button. Let's go a little bit further. A little bit further, a little bit further. Or, tell you what, why don't we just zoom in on the picture on the phone. Oh, that's better. So, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at my canvas. I look like I'm pretty far off. Right? You know, it's really hard to tell. Eh, that looks closer. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Here, watch this. We'll data mosh this out of my face. Oh, it's so bright. Okay, that was scary. Let's never do that again, right? So there you go. There's five ways on how to sketch your uh, picture onto your canvas. See you in the next episode. Bye.